Isolation Station. Hello, hello. A very happy Monday indeed. I hope you've all been enjoying the lovely weather from the comfort of your respective places of residence. I know that's how I like to experience unseasonal levels of warmth. Welcome to Isolation Station. I'm George Lawton. It's 7pm and over the next hour, as always, I will be pumping what many deem as unhealthy levels of fun into your speakers. I'm talking tunes. I'm talking chat. I'm talking the fact that it's only National Bloody Carbonara Day. I hope you all have your pasta at the ready because, in all honesty, you're going to need the carbohydrate to soak up the antics we're going to get up to over the next hour. Please get in touch with me on the socials. You can chat on the web over at isolationstationradio.com or on Instagram at isolation underscore radio. Let me know what you're up to, whether you managed to complete that thousand-piece jigsaw puzzle over the weekend, or if you've got requests, get in touch. But for now, let's start the show as we mean to go on with a top-level tune. It's Lizzo. Juice Lizzo. I have a specific love for this uh, particular Lizzo track, as I have a vivid image of Jon Snow, the Channel 4 broadcaster, not the Game of Thrones fella, trying to describe the track in last year's Big Fat Quiz of the Year. I'm going to play a clip. It's wonderful. For our next question, it's over to the Channel 4 newsroom and the one and only Jon Snow. A major drinks manufacturer has issued a recall on all its products after witnesses reported a number of customers were getting loose after consumption. The non-alcoholic beverage is said to be making people feel like they are shining and dripping with so much sauce, with witness reports stating that those who have consumed the liquid have quickly become incoherent, repeating ya ya ye, ya ya ye, over and over. Jon Snow, another contender for my potential soulmate list. When the Big Fat Quiz panel made their guesses, he reveals the song while busting some, in all fairness, pretty gnarly shapes in the Channel 4 studio. Singing a song, and I got a lump in my throat. Cause you're gonna sing the words wrong. 
Isolation Station. Okay, so last week we talked about some of the hilarious fake news going around. I mean, in reality, it wasn't even fake news, just sort of ridiculous jokes that nobody with even Joe Exotic levels of brain cells would believe. But that didn't stop our good friend Lord, yes, Lord, Alan Sugar. For those of you that didn't see it, there was a fake news headline image going around. Well, more of a meme than anything else, but it read... Vladimir Putin unleashed more than 500 lions into Russia's streets to ensure that people are staying indoors during this pandemic. Pretty funny. Perhaps a small chortle, then move on. However, Lord Sugar retweeted the pic with the caption, Is this a wind-up? I mean, is it me, or does there seem to be a running theme with these apprentice hosts around the world at the moment? Anyway, following uh, Sugar's gullible incident, Twitter had a good old laugh and uh, moved on. A couple of cracking uh, Twitter comments to share with you first, though. To be honest, people would stay in if we released Piers Morgan onto the streets. Yep, fair play. Someone else replies uh, with a poorly photoshopped pic in uh, Birmingham City Centre with the caption, Nope, happened in Brum as well, mate. (laughs) Extremely good work, Twitter. However, it seems like Lord Sugar got a bit restless after not featuring as a trending topic on Twitter for the last seven days, so decided he needed to do something about it. He tweeted on Sunday, What? This is, my, this is my Alan Sugar impression. It's very good. If you are ten feet away from the next person in the open, then what's wrong with that? In Essex, we have big fields. If you are in the middle of one chilling out in the sun, what's wrong with that? To say that one didn't go down too well would be uh, somewhat of an understatement. I've got to say, though, it was incredibly refreshing to see all of Twitter shut down his lordship with such ease. The doctors and people with brains of Twitter weren't having any of it. So uh, let's keep our fingers crossed that Alan finds a uh, few thousand-piece puzzles to keep him off the Twitter for uh, the next few days. Grips on your ways, front way, back way, you know that I don't play. Streets not safe, but I never run away, even when I'm away. OT, OT, there's never much love when we go OT. I pray to make it back in one piece. I pray, I pray. That's why I need a one dance. Got a Hennessy in my hand. One more time before I go. Higher powers taking a hold on me. I need a one dance. Got a Hennessy in my hand. One more time before I go. Higher powers taking a hold on me. Strength and guidance, all that I'm wishing for my friends. Nobody makes it from my ends. I had to bust up the silence. You know you gotta stick by me. Soon as you see the text, reply me. I don't wanna spend time fighting. We got no time, and that's why I need a one dance. Got a Hennessy in my hand. 
One more time for I go Higher powers taking a hold on me I need a one dance Got a Hennessy in my hand One more time for I go Higher powers taking a hold on me Isolation Station. Station. Adolescent Arctic Monkeys Isolation Station Now then, over the past couple of weeks we've been talking about all sorts of variations on quarantine hits We've had everything from Now That's What I Call Coronavirus playlists featuring such anthems as Britney Spears' Toxic We've also uh, discussed the UK's Isolation Balcony Banger where there were some very strong opinions on what we should be singing to our streets However, it seems that uh, Twitter have a different idea of how to go about finding quarantine hits, and that's because Twitter always have a different idea, no matter what. 
Uh, so an image has been uh, circulating around that reads, whatever song was number one on your 12th birthday is your quarantine theme song. I like this vibe. I like this vibe a lot. Which big time late noughties artist could it possibly be? I started to get very excited when I looked this up, primarily because I knew that whatever I found, I would be obligated to play at the end of this segment. And dear listeners, I can but apologise. I'm truly, truly sorry. My quarantine theme song, the tune that was number one on my 12th birthday, and as such, the next song on Isolation Station, is JLS, Everybody in Love. God, I'm so sorry. If anything, bring up any complaints you have with my parents. Probably best to CC in Ofcom for good measure. There's got to be some sort of law against playing JLS in today's climate. But please, let me know what your quarantine theme song is. You can find out on the handy-dandy website, mybirthdayhits.co.uk. Might even give it a play. I mean, let's face it, it's not hard to be better than the assembly that is Aston, Ortiz, A, Marvin and JB. But I'm sorry, sorry, this is out of my control. It's uh, JLS. Too much of it lately Every minute's like an hour Every hour's like a day Every day lasts forever But what else am I gonna do? I wait forever and a day for you I wait up, wait up I can't eat, I can't sleep What else could it be? Missing you so deep Long as I'm where you're going to I wait forever Feel the same way I do Might as well turn around And just send this Cause it's hard trying to stay mad I could tell you that You can't stay here Knowing just as soon as you disappear That I'll be missing you baby Soon as you get up and you walk away Every minute's like an hour Every hour's like a day That is my quarantine hit, according to Twitter. The song that was number one on my 12th birthday, Everybody in Love, JLS. Yeah, not brilliant. My auntie texted in. Hers is uh, Merry Christmas, everyone, shaking Stevens. Yeah, that's probably even worse, to be honest. But luckily, my mum texted in, and hers is uh, Don't You Want Me, The Human League, which is considerably better. So I think we can have that one up. Yeah. 
right? Lots of you have been texting in as to what your uh, quarantine banger is. In order to find it out, you need to find out what track is number one on your 12th birthday. Jenny's texted in. She said hers is Eye of the Tiger. Just narrowly missed out to Pass the Duchy. I'm sorry, Jenny. That is a shame. Debbie says... Mungo Jerry in the summertime. That's for her uh, husband, Mark. Yeah, no. Lucy, run this town, Jay-Z. Yeah, not bad. My dad said, uh, lion sleep tonight. Ooh. My sister, waiting all night, rudimental. But Millie's texted in. Hers is an anthem. Evacuate the dance floor. Cascada. Not heard this one in a long time. What's yours? Let me know on Instagram at isolation underscore radio. Music, let's get out on the floor. I like to move it, come and give me some more. Watch me get physical, out of control. There's people watching me, I never miss a beat. Still the night, kill the lights, feel it under your skin. about to explode watch me i'm intoxicated digging the show it's got me hypnotized everybody step aside it's still the night kill the lights feel it under your skin the dance floor cascada absolute tune and millie's quarantine hit number one on her 12th birthday and as claire who texted in rightly says a staple to any good christmas party very true i can almost smell the damp function room let me know what yours is on instagram at isolation underscore radio Isolation Station. Right, now, I've got a question. I switched the telly on last night, and Sunday night, primetime, BBC One. One episode, the first episode, no less, of Gavin and Stacey, followed by an old outnumbered episode. Things went slightly downhill after that, though. I think it was Mrs. Brown's boys. I mean, those are classics of our time. Absolute masterpieces. But I just don't think we have shows like that anymore. Everything that the big terrestrial channels turn, churns out these days is just a sort of a bit forgettable. I mean, that certainly seems to be the way on the actual telly. I can't honestly think of the last time that I watched something excellent made for the telly. Everything seems to be going straight to streaming. But there's one exception, and one really, really, really good exception. And that is Gogglebox. <laughs> 
I was watching it on Friday night, and I genuinely haven't laughed that much at a show in a long time. Seriously hilarious. The irony being that they're basically reacting to the shows that I've just been berating. Look, I'm an open-minded guy. People don't have to like or agree with the same things as me to get along. However, if you're not a Gogglebox fan, that is unacceptable. That's a level of discrimination that I can get behind. I will not be fraternising with those folk. Also, I can do an exceptional impression of the voiceover fella, even if I do say so myself. In Burnley, sisters Sheila and Sandra are eating chocolate eclairs while discussing Richard Madden's chop board. I told you. Flawless. So there are two siblings on the show called Sophie and Pete, who are one of the sharpest duos on the show, incredibly funny. Plus, they're totally on my side about Joe Wicks being an evil mastermind. You wanted to be the nation's PE teacher, and it's finally happening. What was the journey to get here? Well, just a webcam, YouTube channel. And capitalising on a pandemic. <laughs> I was laying in bed last Wednesday. I had this idea to do a live workout every day on my YouTube channel. He is cashing in big style. <laughs> if there's a whiff of a pound now, he's a... Uh... Defo, a federal agent, that Joe Wicks something not right about him I put him in the same sort of category as over enthusiastic kids TV presenters wouldn't want to be left in a room with him with any sharp objects right while we're on Gogglebox I have to play a clip from the absolute classic couple Giles and Mary I'd be more than happy with adding either of these two to my potential soulmate list I couldn't not play you this I think we had too much chicken last night I was feeling a bit chickeny after I it. felt chickened out Drumstick thigh, two wings, and the devil's, what's it called, that thing? Pope's nose. The Pope's nose. You ate all of that, did you? Yeah. Um, That's not attractive, Giles. What? Would you honestly expect me to find that attractive? Well, I wasn't <laughs> thinking that you'd, I thought you might laugh. No, it's not attractive at all. Utter legends. <laughs> Someone tweeted petition to keep hashtag gogglebox on until the end of self-isolation please it's the only thing getting me through the week I'm in total agreement although I will say that it's clear that that particular Twitter user didn't tune into isolation station now I couldn't finish a segment on gogglebox without playing this and you know I don't use this phrase lightly but it's an absolute anthem code line perfect world touch gloves yeah it'll be alright I always knew you had a heavy heart brother brother you're taking me back to the start i saw your face in a photograph painting a picture of a better time brother brother you'll always be on my mind yeah in a perfect world in a perfect world in a perfect a perfect world touchdown 
Code Line, Perfect World. Whoever made the call of having this as the Gogglebox theme tune, smashed it. A couple more of you have been on saying what your quarantine hits are. Graham says it's It's My Party, Dave Stewart and Barbara Gaskin. Okay. My gran says Cry, Johnny Ray. Okay, don't know it, I'll be honest with you. But if you happen to be 12 on the 19th of October 1985, this will be yours. Isolation Station. So I teased you all last week that on Wednesday, Isolation Station would be having its first real life, actual Hollywood A lister guest. I'm talking proper celebrity. Like, level of celebrity that might lead you to wonder who I have dirt on in order to make this happen. I'm talking Graham Norton level celebrity. In fact, that is today's clue. This certain celebrity has been a guest on the Graham Norton show within the past two months. I kid you not. I'm sure this celebrity will be bumping off his Graham Norton show CV credit in favour for an isolation station one very swiftly. Move aside, Norton. Lawton is the voice of the people now. <laughs> okay, you're allowed one more small clue. This is it. Right, that's it. It's all you're having for today. And don't message in saying that you weren't aware that there'd been any Nigerian guests on Graham Norton's show or something utterly hilarious like that. It was an excellent impression. 
so think you know who it might be. Get your guesses in before the big reveal tomorrow. Message me on the gram at isolation underscore radio or on the World Wide Web, isolationstationradio.com. Work it, make it, do it, make sense, harder, better, faster, stronger. That, 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 that don't kill me, can only make me stronger. I need you to hurry up now, cause I can't wait much longer. I know I got to be right now, cause I can't get much stronger. Man, I've been waiting all night now, that's how long I've been on ya. Right Let's now. get lost tonight. You could be my black Kate Moss tonight. Play secretary on the ball tonight. And you don't give a f- what they all say, right? Awesome, the Christian and Christian Dior. Damn, they don't make them like this anymore. I ask, cause I'm not sure. Do anybody make real sh- anymore? Bow in the presence of greatness. Cause right now, that has to Satanist. You should be honored by my lateness. That I would even show up to this place. So go ahead, go nuts, go ace. Let's see in my pastel on my page. Act like you can't tell who made this new gospel. Homie, take six and take this. Haters. That, 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 that don't kill me. Can only make me stronger. I need you to hurry up now. Cause I can't wait much longer. I know I got to be right now. Cause I can't get much stronger. Man, I've been waiting all night now. That's how long I've been on ya. Like right now. Right now. I don't know if you get a man or not If you made plans or not If God put me in your plans or not I'm tripping this drink, got me saying a lot But I know that God put you in front of me So how the hell could you front on me? It's a thousand years, it's only one of me I'm tripping, I'm caught up in the moment, right? Cause it's Louis Vuitton dying night So we gon' do everything the kind like Heard they do anything for a Klondike Well I'll do anything for a blind and she'll do anything for the limelight And we'll do anything when the time's right Uh, baby, you're making it faster, stronger Oh, that, 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 that don't kill me Can only make me stronger I need you to hurry up now Cause I can't get much stronger I know I got to be right now Cause I can't get much stronger Man, I've been waiting all night now That's how long I've been on ya Like I never told you. Never, never, Don't act like I never, 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 told you. Uh. Don't act like I never, told you. Never, Don't act like I never, never, told you. Stronger. Man, I've been waiting all night, man. That's how long I've been on ya. I need you right now. I need you right now. You know how long I've been on ya. This Christmas don't act alone ya. This OJ had icy toners. Don't act like I never told ya. You know how long I've been on ya. This Christmas don't act alone ya. This OJ had icy toners. Don't act like I never told ya. Stronger Kanye West. A few guesses come in for who our A-list celebrity guest is on Wednesday. Sadly, all incorrect. We've had James McAvoy. New. Nope. And then a couple of suggestions here that I think may not be all too serious. Humphrey Bogart or Ingrid Bergman. Yeah, no. Isolation Station. Right, from one exceptional Scottish accent to another. You know what that must mean? Hey, of course, it's that time of the show we've all been waiting for. The Shrek segment. (laughs) It's a simple part of the show, founded by complex emotions. 
We must not keep our emotions and feelings towards Shrek bottled up. It's simply unsafe. Instead, they must be released in manageable amounts. Periods of time that can be controlled, and that's where the Shrek segment comes into play. So, here it is. It's your daily dose of Shrek. Prepare to unleash your daily pent-up emotion. Put down your tankards of ale. Stay well clear of the hook-handed fella playing a jaunty tune on the piano in the shadows. And, of course, lower your pitchforks for 3 minutes 45 seconds. I'm on my Wii, the Proclaimers. Had a couple more guesses about who our A-list, top-tier Scottish celebrity guest is on Wednesday. Craig Cash, no. Billy Connolly, no. Keep your guesses coming in. Isolation Station. So, you know we like to wind down the show with a good news segment. Gets us in a nice and positive mood. Something that I'm sure plenty will not be averse to on this particular Monday. (laughs) So, today's good news hails from the land of the free, the US of A. No less than a place antonymous with an old t-shirt. That's right, New Jersey. (laughs) I was proud of that one. So, siblings 16-year-old Drew and 13-year-old Heather created a GoFundMe crowdfunding campaign in order to help small businesses and healthcare heroes by purchasing food and gift cards to deliver to people impacted the most. One local hospital asked for gift cards so that they could pass them on to patients being released from the hospital to provide food for them and make sure that they stay home. Since launching the page, the siblings have managed to raise more than $2,500, although they hope to bring home... uh, 
I'm reading this bit off a script and lost where I was. <laughs> they hope to bring down, bring, bring, oh my goodness me, can't speak. I'm going to start that sentence again. They hope to bring home more donations to reach their $20,000 goal. Thank you, thank you, got through it in the end. Thank you very much. <laughs> now, I've seen some seriously wholesome news about people doing things for their local community recently. It's very lovely to see. It may even counteract Lord Sugar bringing down the uh, tone of the internet somewhat. If you have any stories about uh, people that are positively affecting your community, please let me know. I would love to feature them on the show. Get in touch on Instagram at isolation underscore radio or the web isolationstationradio.com. You want to the vaccines? I feel like that's not how you should say the title to that song. I feel like it should be more like, yeah, if you wanna. If you wanna. If you wanna. Isolation Station. Had a few more last minute guesses as who our Wednesday celebrity guest is. We know that they're Scottish. We know they've been on the Graham Norton show in the past two months. David Tennant? No. Jason Statham? No. Jack Nicholson? No. Sir Patrick Stewart? No. Sir Michael Caine? No. I'm sorry. You're all rubbish. You'll have to tune in tomorrow to listen to another clue that will reveal once and for all who our Wednesday celebrity guest is. And trust me, it's very exciting. But until then, another huge thank you for tuning in to today's show. Today was the first show with the new website, so uh, let me know how you found it easy to navigate, if everything worked all right for you. I love some feedback. I've been working this weekend to build social media platforms for the station. You can still chat on the website, isolationstationradio.com, but you can also find links there to our Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube pages. I would very much appreciate a follow or even a cheeky share if you're enjoying the show. It would guarantee my love to you forevermore. Please do tune in tomorrow to find out which Mahusivela celebrity we're welcoming onto the show on Wednesday. Trust me, you would be foolish to miss it. Right, one more tune for you fine people and your fine ears. This one truly is the name of the game at the moment. 
a truth that we could do with heeding all of the time, but especially at a time like this. There's no combination of words I could put on the back of a postcard No song that I could sing but I can try for your heart and Our dreams and they are made out of real things Like a shoebox of photographs with sepia tone loving Love is the answer at least for most of the questions of my heart Like why are we here and where do we go and how come we're so hard and It's not always easy and sometimes life can be deceiving I'll tell you one thing, it's always better when we're together mm, It's always better when we're together Yeah, we'll look at them stars when we're together Well, it's always better when we're together Yeah, it's always better when we're together I find their way into my dreams tonight But I know that they'll be gone When the morning light sings or brings new things For tomorrow night you see That they'll be gone too Too many things I have to do But if all of these dreams might find their way into my day-to-day -day scene I'd be under the impression I was somewhere in between With only two, just me and you Not so many things we got to do What places we got to be We'll sit beneath the mango tree now Yeah, it's always better when we're together mm, We're somewhere in between together Well, it's always better when we're together Yeah, it's always better when we're together together Jack Johnson I've had one more guess about who Wednesday's celebrity guest could be and you guys are really rubbish at this I've got to say Lewis Capaldi no no it's an actor I said that poor effort well I hope to see you all tomorrow hope you have great evenings I'm going to be having a conference call quiz with my friends not a sentence I expected I'd be saying in January to be honest but until tomorrow I will see you at 7pm Isolation Station. Isolation.